Hey guys, welcome back to ETL Kiva Labs. Uh, today we will uh, talk about uh, ETL testing. So we will, what we will do is uh, today we will try to see how do we verify source and target. Okay, and uh, we are assuming here that source is a flat file or the file based system, and the target is the database, right? So let's uh, quickly uh, go to our agenda and let me, I have prepared a little bit of documentation so that, you know, we can uh, just go through much easier way here, right? So here, uh, what we will do is we will uh, cover um, the questions one by one and then we will also see the practical demonstration here, right? So that will give you more understanding on the topic, yeah? So, you know, the most important thing in the ETL QA or ETL testing world is uh, how do you validate the data, right, between source and target? And uh, given that uh, there is an ETL system involved or the, the jobs which are created, so the idea is to validate whether the source and target data, you know, they are matching as per uh, transformation, right? So for the sake of simplicity, what we, I have assumed here is the ETL system having source as a flat file in the target as a SQL database, right? And uh, it's a direct mapping mostly. So when I say direct mapping, there is no filtration, yeah? So which means that if there is 100 records in the source, then we are expecting again 100 record in the target, yeah? And uh, so that is kind of things we have, uh, you know, understood. And obviously, if there is a duplicate in the source system, then the target shouldn't have duplicate. That's very obvious. So that also we need to understand. All right. So let's quickly dive into the topic now. So what we will do is first few of the questions, we will talk about, uh, you know, Unix systems or the Linux based system. So why do we use, first of all, uh, Unix in the ETL testing? So Unix is one of the very very important or I will say the the operating system which is uh, uh, needed in almost all the um, you know real-time application wherever we are using so all the most of the applications are uh, not all then at least most of the applications are hosted on the Unix environment and uh, Unix is again an operating system like Windows but then to operate with Unix, we need to write the commands. We do not have uh, touch uh, or touch based, you know, um, instructions or you can say that like we do in Unix uh, in, in Windows, right? So you say right click and then you create a folder, file, etc. Right. So that is uh, so that is how <coughs> sorry, uh, the ETL system works on the Unix platform, right? So what we will do is uh, we will go to Unix system. I have installed the Ubuntu here. Let me quickly restart. I think it is restarted already. Let me quickly go to the terminal here. Yeah? Okay, let me log in. All right. So here you go, guys. I have just uh, created a uh, one folder here and I have also created a small file yeah employee um, file is there and you see that uh, in employee file we have couple of records right so some of them are duplicate records I have kept these duplicates uh, with my intention because I want to show that you know how does uh, you know what exactly what kind of scenario we need to verify in the ETL testing right so first few of questions that we will uh, try to understand how the Unix uh, you know the Linux command basic commands work it's not all of them but I had just tried uh, some of the important one but I plan to you know create a very nice and crisp playlist for uh, uh, Unix based or Linux based system soon uh, but uh, for now, this is what, uh, mm, you know, uh, we can go through. Okay. All right. So, we'll take the questions one by one. So, first what we will do is we will need to find out the unique records or unique rows in a file system. Okay. So, for example, if you see here, these are the duplicate, right? 
so when we do the ATL validation what we do we try to see that uh, in the target there is no duplicate right so in this case it is very important that we understand how many are the unique record in the source table and the same amount should be reflected in the target table also so what we will do is we will try to run this um, uh, command and we will try to see whether it is working yeah see file and then emp well is the cat cat is uh, the very popular command to display the file content like this it will show you all the you know content of the file and then what we will do is once the content is uh, you know displayed we will use the pipe operator so what pipe operator does is basically uh, you know the output that is coming right so as part of this command entire command the output that is coming out instead of you know redirect instead of uh, giving it to a uh, displaying on your console it will just pass it to the next command so next command we will try to see um, so for uh, getting the unique record right i will say unique hyphen one second not unique i will say short hyphen u right so we have to sort it first first of all then only it will tell you whether unique or not right and then hyphen u will tell you uh, unique all right so you see here uh, in this case you see the record number six employee number six and the name ford and then this is the last one is the department id okay so you see here there are three records but here it has given only one uh, only one for all three right so this is how you can verify uh, you know um, the unique records in a file system all right let's go to the second question right so what if we have uh, multiple files and then how we would like to get the unique record that is the very obvious thing in ETL because in ETL we are actually fetching the data from multiple source systems and uh, it is very important that we try to you know um, club the data from various system and then try to um, see that there is a duplicate or not so what i will do is quickly i will just copy this and i'll just try to uh, i'll just make it emp1 all right so i got two commands uh, two files okay i'll just try to try to edit some of the records okay so that it will be a little different all right what i will do is instead of doing this i will say all right so here i will say 8 okay 9 7 okay so what we will do is these two files are different right now I want to get the unique record from these two files. The other two files. Sorry. Okay. Now we will take both the files. We can always we can also do like this emp dot or I can also do like this. Yeah, I want to consider all the files here which are ending with C S B. Alright it's a wild character okay then I will say sort hyphen u sort minus u right so these are again you see they have removed the duplicate here but you see here this this is not duplicate because you know other fields are not uh, exactly same so that's that is not considered duplicate so this is how you can get uh, the unique record from multiple files you can club all the files so here star means it will take all the files which are having csv and it will actually display it first and then after that it will send the output to the short sort is a unix command which will short first and then with given the argument hyphen u it will just uh, get you the unique records okay now we will go to the third command third command is uh, how do you find the unique department ID from a file right so let's again go back and uh, see that what is department right so department is the third field here right the employee ID employee name and then 
third one is the department ID. So we would like to find out what is the duplicate. Right, let me. Uh, sorry. So we would like to get the unique department ID from this particular file. So I will do one thing. I will take the this file itself and in this case I should get 10, 20, uh, 30, 40, 50 and 60 because 60 are multiple times so I should be getting only one right. So we just learn how to get the duplicate record from the file but in this case we want to only focus on only one column that is the department ID. So what we have, we have very popular command cut command right and there uh, then cup command and delimiter so we know that what is the delimiter of the file is it's a comma right and then I will say which field right so F uh, I will say hyphen F and then field number is 3 right so if I run this alright you see that we are getting everything but again the output if I am just redirecting the output to short and then unique then you will get exactly the output here right so what we have done is we have just covered these three basic questions from unix which are very popular right and then uh, in the next video what we are going to do is we are going to see some of the practical or i will say the most important interview question that are being asked in etl testing okay Alright, so this video I will just stop it here and then um, I will record the another one. Okay, thank you very much.